What is up guys, my name is Flares, and welcome back to more Let's Play Tales of the Abyss Blind. In the last episode, we began the game and uh, had some shit go down. So if you missed the first episode, you should make sure to go watch the first episode. I mean, it's only the first episode. So there's a lot of stuff that happened in it. That's just, you know, how it goes around these places, you know? You know what I'm saying? We're gonna fight some enemies here because they're easy experience that we'll be dying for later. I screwed up there because I forgot that uh, by default, I can't actually uh, use arts when I'm holding a direction on the control stick. I kind of sort of just want to gain a few levels, if at all possible. I also want to get pretty much every item that's kind of just sitting around places here. Look at that, that worked. Haha! -ha. Bang Blade! Two experience points for that guy, but I got eight gold for him from him. So I mean that's a plus. Oh wait, that's the way I wanted to go. Crap, let me go back the other way. Yes, please go back the other way. <laughs> I took the wrong route. Run! Run, Luke, run! Oh my goodness. Oh. Battle first, then item. It's gonna be mostly all the same stuff. Although we just learned the, an add skill, recover. Look at that. Tier just gains experience points, but we leveled up. We got, we got recover. Look at that. What's in this treasure chest? We got an orange gel. Um, so add skills, Luke. Recover, prevent being knocked down with square when knocked away by an enemy. There we go. Good stuff. You want to fight, so we'll go ahead and fight you. Lots of fighting, but you know, I don't have to worry about it taking five ever to actually load a battle scene. That was the uh, one of the big issues in the original Let's Play of this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reference that Let's Play a few times, I think, but hopefully I, it won't become like overly annoying that I keep doing that, but it's you, neither here nor there for the time being. I dazed him. Caught you off guard, didn't I? Mr. Plant Dude. Luke is right, though. We are done here. We have killed everything on the hill. Let's go down the hill. It's so nice that loading screens don't take like 30 seconds at a minimum. Be careful. There's more than one of them this time. You mean I have to fight more than one enemy at a time? What is this? Convenience for my EXP grinding? Yes way. The hell? Luke, relax. How the hell am I supposed to relax? He's got a point there. When faced with multiple enemies, you can change which one you target. We call this a tutorial. Change your target by holding down the target button and moving the left stick. Well, that that's good to know, right? Oh, you actually want me to change my target. You can also target the closest enemy. And then we can just good. tap it and we're all good to go. So now we can attack. Fangling. Kill things. Do it. Also, if you get them close enough, you can catch them in your attacks and won't have to worry about it. That's your best. And Tyr learned Critical Guard. Look at that. I mean, she leveled up, meaning she's level four. Four. The number four. Hmm. Going home. I'm sorry, I'll get you back to your manor. You damn well better. It's my fault after all, I'm very sorry. Yeah, well, I don't get out all that often anyway, so I guess a little walking around won't hurt. So, do you wanna go home or not? Of course I wanna go home, what kind of question is that? Then stop talking and start moving. If you want to go for a stroll, wait until we're someplace safer. Ah, fine, fine. Hmm? 
What's over here? Is this the way to go? I don't even re like remember. I want to find secret stuff. Like a cape. I found a cape, guys. Guys, guys, I found a cape. That increases my defenses. Wow, considerably on that uh physical defense. Sure, we'll we'll go ahead and put that on. I don't think we have yeah, okay, Tear's got her pendant anyway, so that is a okay with me. But we skip this enemy. We need to fight you. I need every little experience point that I can get. Nice. Too easy. Stupid monsters. <laughs> you better keep out of my way. You're getting better at fending them off, Luke. Huh. I was just a little startled at first, that's all. I've been training with Master Van. Those wimps are no match for me. Van. Huh? You say something? No, no. Uh, it's nothing. Let's go. Let's fight the boar. Or the rhin... Rhinosis. Rhinosis. I don't know. It's a boar. <laughs> it's a boar. Hmm. How... How, how shall you say boring? Okay, let me stop. Um, down this way? Yes. Come on, come across this log back here. There's an enemy here. There's an enemy here that I just walked into. That's fine. There we go. Took a few more hits than I expected to. Oh, we got plus two grade. I did pretty well there. Life bottle. 300 gold and a fight. Now to fight. And Dractus. Wow. Got critical guard and a level up. Level ups are always good. I suppose that would be why we're getting skills, right? When we level up. That's how RPGs work after all. So much running down the hill. And not much to talk about because we're early game uh, cutscene. There's the way out. It's about time. I'm sick of this place. Someone's coming. That's either good or bad. Uh, don't don't tell me you're with the Dark Wings. The Dark Wings? They're bandits. Two men and a woman. Wait, there's only two of you. That, that doesn't discount the fact that we could be them. <laughs> Don't go comparing me to some pathetic bandit. Yes, you might upset the bandits. Ooh, burn. Hey! We lost our way and wound up here. Who are you? I'm a coachman. One of the wheels on my coach started acting up. We lost our drinking water when the jug fell off. So I came here to draw some more. A coach, perfect. Do you go to the capital? Yeah, that's my last stop. Let's hitch a ride. I'm sick of walking. Yes, we don't know this area very well. Would that be all right with you? To the capital, it'll be twelve thousand gold apiece. You got enough on you? That's expensive. Really? Sounds cheap to me. My dad will take care of it when we get to the capital. That's no good. I need payment in advance. Which is a hard bargain. Take this. Wow, this is some gem. All right, hop aboard. Huh, you got some nice stuff. Now I don't have to get my shoes all dirty. We got a ride. And a save point, and a treasure, tre tre treasure chest. Open it. Four hundred gold. How much gold do I have? <laughs> I have eleven hundred gold. Um, I don't think there's anything else for us here, so let's just move on. Let's go.
was that? We're finally awake. Hey, that coach is under attack. The army's chasing those bandits. It's those dark wings I mistook you for. You there. Move your coach before you get caught in the crossfire. As Luke's head is shoved out the window. Commander! Enemy has crossed the Hotel Row Bridge! They're putting gunpowder on the bridge! My, my. They intend to drop the bridge, do they? Phone slot activation detected! The enemy set off phonic arts using the fifth phonon! The bridge is going to explode! Tartarus, full stop! Activate phonic barrier! Yes, sir! Tartarus, full stop! Phonic barrier activated! Whoa, that was cool! Wow, that's Malkuth's newest land dreadnought. The Tartarus. Malkuth? What's the Malkuth military doing hanging around here? What do you mean? Of course they're here. There's been no end to the rumors that Kimlaska is going to start a war any day now. They've tightened security in this area. Wait a minute. This isn't Kimlaska? What are you talking about? This is the Malkuth Empire. The West Rugnica Plains. Hang on. I thought this coach was headed for the capital, Batical. No. Grand Kokma, capital of Malkuth, and home to His Imperial Majesty, Peony the Ninth. Hmm, I was mistaken. How can you be so calm about it? How could you make a mistake like that? I didn't recognize the area. What's your excuse? I've been confined to the manor. I've never been outside. How the hell should I have known? You're sure acting strange. Are you too Kim Laskin? N no we're from Malkuth. We have business in Batical. We were on our way there. Talk about bald-faced. That's the other direction, then. If you're going to Kimlaska, you should have taken the road south rather than crossing the bridge. Mind you, with that bridge out, you can't go back now. Are you serious? Now what do we do? We're passing through Engave to the east on the way to Grand Kokma. What do you two want to do? If we go all the way to Grand Kokma, we'll just wind up farther away. Let's stop in Engave and think about how to get back to Kim Laska. Take us to Engave. I don't like walking. Okay, then here we go. This is in Gave. If you're going to Kimlaska, you should head for the Kite Sewer checkpoint south of here. Take care. A checkpoint. We won't be able to get through without passports. This could be a problem. It'll be fine. If I say I'm Duke Fabra's son, they'll let us through in no time. But right now, I want to check this place out. This is my first time in a city. A city? Well, I suppose we do need to prepare a bit before we leave. Let's stay the night here. And... We, uh... Progress or something, I don't know. You could always camp out. Some town this is, I bet they don't even have a decent place to sleep. Do you do, you do anything besides complain? All I want is a decent bed and decent food. What's wrong with that? I've I never even had to think about things like this back at the manor.
All right, let's take a look around town and see what they got. And Gabe isn't growing just vegetables, but fruit as well. And with all the livestock, we make a lot of meat too. That's great. What are you going to do with the recipe? Make it, what else? The only recipe that we have right now is rice balls. I'm sure we'll get tired of that. Yeah, I definitely get tired of rice every day. Ask to hear more about cooking. Say, can you tell me more about cooking? Hmm? Sure, I don't mind. But what did you want to know? If we have recipes, can we make a bunch of different kinds of food? Yes, you always need a recipe to prepare a dish. By talking to people or searching around, you should be able to find recipes to make a variety of things. So we have to search for recipes, huh? What a pain. Once we get a recipe, how do we make food? Collect the ingredients and then choose who's going to prepare it. People have different tastes in food, so when you choose who's going to make it, you should make sure to confirm the needed ingredients. Hmm. Well, anyway, let's go check out the source of this tasty smell. I hope we won't be bothering them. I'm sure it'll be fine. This is a Japanese RPG after all. Just uh, entering. Not necessarily breaking, just entering. I'm out of miso. Sana, would you be a dear and go get some for me? What? No, I'm reading here. Then you there, since you're just standing there, would you go get some from the old lady at the watermill? You're just completely okay with me entering your house. You've never seen me before in your life. And you're just like, hey, go do this thing for me. JRPG logic. Well, I guess. My, how nice of you. Shut up, you got a problem? If you ask the old lady who lives in the watermill, she'll give you some. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. What are you doing? Wonder what's for supper. Just kidding. I know from the smell. So I think we just got a side quest. <laughs> and by I think, I mean, yes, we just got a side quest. What do you have to say? Grandfather built a room or something here, but I don't know how to open it. Okay. Oh, are you visitors? How do you like Engave? You won't find a better village anywhere. How did you get here? By walking? Yeah, something like that. Wow, these apples look good. Sir, you need to pay. Why do I have to pay? You can't just take a store's products without paying. But the manor pays for everything all at once. Oh, wait. This is Malkuth. Malkuth or Kim Laska. The normal way to shop at a store is to pay money for what you buy when you buy it. I haven't got any money on me. You have the money the monsters dropped. Oh, yeah. It's not gold, so I'd forgotten all about it. Hey, if you're not going to pay, I'm going to have you arrested. Nobody said anything about not paying. So, uh, how does this work? All right, let's explain how shops work. Because Luke's an idiot. I can't believe he doesn't know how to shop at a store. Are all aristocrats like this? The stealing's bad, okay? I can't even, like, buy from you. What do you have? Look at all of this delicious everything. You're sold out of this. So that's fine, I don't need that. I don't need these, these products. I mean, I don't have any recipes right now, so I'm not even going to worry about picking this stuff up. There's a door back here. What is in here? What am I stealing? A life bottle. I'm okay with that. Why does this exist?
why am I able to get there? It's weird, it's been so long that I just, I do not remember very much about this game. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, so I want to find the, the water mill real quick, which I think I actually ran past it earlier. Oh, I'm progressing story. Nothing. Every last scrap of food in the storehouse has been stolen. This has happened time and time again since those fires up north. You think maybe some deserters hiding out up there have started to come here looking for food? Or it could be the work of the Dark Wings, too! It's just food. Would those Dark Wings guys really bother to steal that? What do you mean, just food? In this village, food is the most valuable thing there is. Oh, come on. So someone stole it. Just go buy some more. What? We break our backs all year tending these fields. Hey, I just heard Kelly's place got hit by a food thief, too. It's you. So, you didn't just steal from me. You were at it over here, too, huh? What? You're the one who raided my storehouse? They see the criminal always returns to the scene of the crime. Are you calling me a thief? You tried to steal an apple from me. That's it. I'm taking you to the authorities. Letting Luke get arrested here might actually do him some good. <laughs> and then we got arrested. We've got trouble! Hush! We've got an important guest from the military here. Calm down. How can we be calm? We caught him! We caught the guy stealing food! I'm telling you, it wasn't me! Rose, this guy may be with the Dark Wings! He's got to be responsible for all the food getting stolen lately. I'm telling you, people, I'm not your damn thief! Do I look like I'm going hungry to you? My, my, what a lively boy. Let's all just settle down first, all right? Yes, please do. Colonel. Who the hell are you? I'm Colonel Jade Curtis, 3rd Division, Malkuth Imperial Forces. And who might you be? Be careful how you answer this question, Luke. 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 What's your problem? Have you forgotten? This is enemy territory. Your father, Duke Fabra, is one of Malkuth's greatest enemies. Don't use your name so casually. Oh, really? Yes. There are plenty of people here who've had family killed by your father. You don't want any unnecessary trouble, do you? Is something wrong? My apologies, Colonel. He's Luke. I'm Tyr. We were headed for Kessedonia, but we boarded the wrong coach and wound up here. Oh? So you're with this man suspected of being with the Dark Wings? We're not with the Dark Wings. The Malkuth military forced the real Dark Wings to the other side of Rotelro Bridge. Ah, I see. So you were on that coach from earlier. What is all this about, Colonel? Just as Tyr said, a group of bandits thought to be the Dark Wings fled toward Kimlaska. I can assure you that these two are not with them. They don't appear to be mere food thieves, either. Phone Master Ion. I was a bit curious, so I investigated the food storehouse. I found this in a corner of the room. This is fur from a sacred cheagle. Yes, a cheagle is what probably raided your food stores. See, I told you I wasn't a thief. But you did eat that apple before paying. You need to learn not to do things that'll make you look suspicious. How was I supposed to know? I didn't know I had to pay. Well, sounds like that takes care of that. I think you all have something to say to this boy and his friend. I'm sorry. With all the burglaries lately, I've been a little on edge. Sorry for accusing you. 
I'm sorry I made the situation worse. Do you think you could forgive them, boy? I'm not a boy. I'm sorry. Luke, could we let bygones be bygones? Yeah, whatever. Glad to hear it. Now, I have business with the Colonel. I'll think of a way to stop the Cheagles, so all of you just go on home for today. Why is Phone Master Ion here? Phone Master Ion? The Supreme Leader of the Order of Lorelei. Hey, wait a minute. I heard Ion was missing. Master Van said he was returning home to look for him. Really? That's news to me. I wonder what's going on. He didn't look like he was being held captive. I'll go ask him. Stop. They seem to be in the middle of an important discussion. Let's come back tomorrow. <laughs> Why do I have to follow your orders? I should have asked. That business about Ion is really bugging me. I really should have asked when I had the chance. No need to rush it. You'll have a chance to talk to him tomorrow. Let's get some rest at the inn for now. Ah, damn it. But first things first. Okay, that takes me to the field. <laughs> first things first. I want to go to the, the thingamabob and get that miso for that lady so that I can get the recipe. I would really like to do that before I call it quits in today's video. Where does this take me? Oh, okay, okay, I get it. Just trying to remember how Engave is like put together, <laughs> basically. Okay, so I want to go into this house. Hello, anybody home? Just a loading screen? No, I'm kidding. Hi there. Um, over here? Oh, there you are. Mm, what is it? Hey, Granny, give me some miso. Honestly, Luke, just stand back and let me ask. Excuse us, we're preparing dinner at the house in the rear, but we've run out of miso. Oh, I see. Will this work for you? Thank you very much. You're dismissed. G -g Goodbye now. God damn it, Luke. You're just gonna make the situation worse. I went to the northern forest just once, but I never saw any cheagles. I did see a lot of strange monsters, though. That's no good. Can I can I talk to this cat? Meow. Got a save point there, but we want to go back to this house real quick. Hi there. How you doing? Is this what you needed? Oh, thank you. Now it's complete. As thanks, I'll teach you how to make pasta. Learn the spaghetti recipe! Spaghetti, spaghetti, ravioli. I'll go ahead and give you some leftover ingredients, too. And gave noodles. Milk. Oh. Why don't you try making some for your boyfriend there? Dot, dot, dot. Well, we have the spaghetti recipe now. And with that, I think that's going to be it for today's episode of Let's Play Tales of the Abyss Blind. With an asterisk. I explained that in the last episode, though. But with that, guys, that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like down below, a dislike it if you thought it sucked, leave a comment if you feel so inclined. And until the next one, my name is Flares, and I'll see you guys in the next one.